Super micro computer announced their earnings today and in after hours trading, the stock is down 13%. This is a stock that's really benefited from the whole AI hype, the big data center build out. And it's undeniable that their revenue really did go up. But what went up in greater proportion was their stock price. Their stock price got much too high. I'm showing a graph of how high their stock price got and how quickly the stock is beginning to contract. This is not the first time a stock's done this. If you look at the dot-com bubble, when it began to burst, you saw companies like Cisco and Intel have similar charts. And unfortunately, in those cases, the stockholders really lost a lot of their value and it took a long time to ever get back to a portion of the previous stock price. I don't know what's gonna happen with Supermicro, but I could just say that the company is not the stock price and the stock price is not the company. Supermicro has great employees. They've built a really good business and they're providing computers to the marketplace that the, the industry really needs. But the stock price just got too high and it's beginning to come down. I'm here to talk about the stock price. I'm not here to badmouth the company in any way. So let's continue to talk about the stock price. The company has a market cap currently at uh, $36 billion. And after today, it'll be probably around uh, $32 billion once we have any adjustment for the lower stock price. The company has a current P of 34, forward P of 18. Now, what's probably scaring investors is super microcomputer is experiencing really good sales, but it's a build out. And once the build out is over, I think the revenue is really gonna fall off. And I think that's what investors are beginning to really get their heads around. Analysts are way behind. They think the stock's discounted by 70%. I think they need to update their analysis because it's way off. As we look at that one year return, the company is up 79%, even though they're down substantially over the last month by 32%. So this stock really saw a high high and now it's beginning to really come down. Revenues have been going, going really well year after year. Now they're a smaller company from a hardware perspective, but in 2023, they grew at 37%, then 109% in the most previous year, which just ended by the way on June 30th. So that's phenomenal growth. But again, the market believes that it's going to be a build out, somewhat of a one time event, and then revenues are really going to come down. We'll see if that happens. Cash flow was negative in 2024. Now, that's a big deal to me because they're building out inventory and they're in a marketplace where if demand stops and they're stuck with inventory, cash is going to be stuck in inventory. And that's risky. So that is a concern with the company that they haven't been a consistent free cash flow generator. And that is a liability with this company, in my opinion. Supermicro provided earnings and their financials accompanying those earnings. And part of the presentation they provided, I wanted to point out a few things. First, in the most recent quarter, their margins went down. Now that's a problem. And you can see that it's a low margin business. Hardware, computer hardware is a low margin business. I guess competition's entering the picture or cost is going up, but that's a significant drop in margins. That could be part of why the stock is selling off so much. Operating margins much lower than before. So the company is just not a big profitable entity. Hardware companies are not big profitable entities. Net cash, in the most recent quarter, they actually burned through $504 million of cash. And cash from operations has been in the negative for three consecutive quarters. That is not good because they're building up inventory, I imagine, and that could really become a liability in the future. So investors are getting out of the stock in the after hours trading and really putting pressure on this stock. Again, it's a stock price that's probably way too high and it needs to come down to a level that aligns better with these fundamentals and the overall value of the company. Using the updated financial information provided in their earnings, I was able to update the valuation on Supermicro. In conclusion, the stock is 39% too high the stock price is being sold at a premium of 39%. I get to that conclusion by looking at their free cash flows, trying to get to a forecast that I can believe in of cash flows, and also looking at earnings per share and valuing the company based on earnings per share. Let's go over cash flow first. And what I'm doing is I'm taking 2023 numbers and growing them by 25%. That's an ambitious forecast. And even with those ambitious numbers, which they may not attain. Um, the company would create these cash flows over the next four years. After that term, we have terminal value of 
all cash flows beyond year four amounting to 20 billion. I'm going to discount those cash flows. They are a riskier company. You see that they're producing negative cash in some quarters. It's hardware, computer hardware. So that could be very volatile. Um, so I'm going to go with 11%. And when I discount the free cash flows by that rate, I get $14.8 billion. I add cash and take away debt and I get to an equity value of $14.3 billion. The market cap of the company is $36.5 billion. So when I compare the value per share versus the stock price that they're trading after hours, it's a, a premium of 54%. The stock price is too high by 54% if we look at cash flows. Earnings per share values the company a little closer to its end stock price. $24.34 per share. I gave them a very favorable 18% PE. Hardware companies usually you know, trade at around 12, but I'll give them an 18. We get to a growth rate of 10%. Um, based on those factors, we get a stock value of $481.92. That's lower than the current stock price by 10%. So blended, I believe the stock price is being sold at a premium of 39% or more. Now that's a pretty steep price to pay on a company who's seen its stock price really come down. I'll use that information to make decisions on this investment. I've been evaluating Supermicro for some time and I've recorded multiple videos. A few months ago, I started a short position on Supermicro, meaning that I sold short shares of the company and have continued to sell more shares over time. At this point, I'm sitting on a 32% gain in roughly two months. It's a very good gain. At this point, should I short more shares? Should I just close out the position and take the gain or should I leave it open? Overall, I think the company could continue to drop in price and I can continue to accumulate more in the gain column for the short position. I'm going to weigh my decision tomorrow as the stock market trades on August 7th. It's likely that I may close the position and just exit out of this stock. A win's a win. And I had put an exit strategy of 30% on my short position. Whether the stock rose 30% and I lost money to the amount of 30% or the stock went down and I made money. At this point, I've made 32%. So I'm going to go ahead and close out my short position tomorrow. That's likely what I'm going to do. I'll make the final decision tomorrow. So that's my video on Super Micro. Just a quick reminder, I'm an individual investor. I don't recommend that you buy, hold, or sell Super Micro. I don't recommend you short uh, Super Micro or short any stock. Short sales are very risky. Also, the stock price is not the company and the company is not the stock price. Super Micro is a good company and to all the employees, uh, I think they did an excellent job building a hardware company and I wish you continued success. With that, I appreciate you watching the video and I appreciate you watching.